Hey everybody, this is Rexus. That's all. And welcome back to Let's Play Time Splitters 2. On this episode, we're finally going to be exploring the Robot Factory. So what I'm going to do first is explore with this next area and equip your side by handguns. But watch out for um, the reflecting bullets, because they can do a hell of a lot of damage to you. Like, we're probably losing a good bit of our health already. But what I'm going to do is go to this next area. And just hide behind these boxes here. And just wait for um, this laser to go past. Very important, you can use this laser first, so this laser is going to prove quite useful. So, all I want to do is just stand here and just wait. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. And then, as soon as the laser goes past, then um, that lo you want to switch to um, attack mode by pressing X on that machine. That sort of does a lot of damage to those um, robots. Then, we're going to destroy it because it's annoying. <laughs> And you want to press X on that machine and just sort of um, destroy the... Move forward. Yeah, just to destroy the force field. And here we get plasma grenades. Probably the most useful like, weapon in this game. In this game. A level. And just watch out for the spawning robots. As soon as you do anything that's related to an objective in this, um, more enemies will spawn, so... Just beware for that. Oh, I'm kind of um, hogging all the ammo, sorry. Alright. And we go back in here. More enemies go on, so. Duck and cover. Duck and cover, basically. And. What I like to use in class on all rifle on is these enemies. These sort of um, bins. Because. They basically do a lot of damage to you. Whoa. And for these two enemies here, what you want to do is shoot a grenade on each of them, and then run. Because they do a lot of damage to you too. And then what you want to do is watch out for the guys coming at you from above. And also watch out for these bins again. Very dangerous level this one. Go <laughs> to the next area. And there's some more of these bins to destroy. Worse than a what you want to do is just turn up around here immediately and just destroy that guy. Yeah. We should have got him. Oh, there's a little bit. And hopefully we this area clear. Yeah, we do. No, we don't. Oh, come on! As you can see, he does a lot of damage if you don't kill him. Like I did. I did fuck a grenade at him. They want just one person to stand here, another person make enemies spawn up here. because they do a lot of damage. Sure do, Skip. Where go? I think we got the enemies around here. We did. Sweet. No, I can still hear some enemies coming. Can't see them, so... Let's move on! Be really careful with those guys because they can do a lot of damage to you. Be especially careful for these things. Make sure what you want to do is shoot grenades and whatever you can at the exposed areas of this guy to um, defeat him. As soon as you grab the electro tool, enemies are going to spawn, so just be prepared for that. And don't shoot your electro tool at the red lasers, otherwise, you'll, it'll reflect back at you and you'll take damage. And no one likes taking damage. I just get one and follow you around. Okay. Make sure both of you have an electro tool because you can keep, there's plenty of um, respawn points for the ammunition and it's pretty useful. So it's also useful for them um, because it can sort of um, 
stage. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you can um, pretty much disable enemy robots temporarily with it. So it's pretty sweet like that. And allows your partner to sort of mob them up for you. Save his bloody um, time. And then you get access to the next area once... Oh, you have to defeat every enemy as you go. I know I'm talking really fast for this one. There's so much to get in. But you need to defeat every enemy as you go. In order to... Um, uh, progress into the next area. And try to stick together as much as you can. Because it can be easy to get lost if you're not familiar with the area. Although I know that sounds obvious, really. But... What can you do? You don't want to get ganged up on either. Yeah. And this area is kind of annoying also. So what I want to do is I want to go for an enemy robot around here and I want to try and destroy him immediately because he's the immediate threat. So I'm hoping that I got him. I did. Sweet. Um, there's more grenades there so your partner can take him. Fair enough. I'm leaving for you. Oh well. Just watch out for um, these guys. You can dodge your attacks relatively easy by going left and right and strafing, but it's not a, exactly a great tactic to use. And what you want to do here is you want to um, use this uh, machine to uh, go down here and just sort of slow down a bit, don't go too quick. You can go back around, it does laps, but... The next, um, oh, your objective is to destroy, basically destroy these little crystals. Probably forgot to say that. That's our primary objective, so. We're gonna go do that. And once you destroy those three little outsides, um, basically this thing will deactivate, so we're good to go. And just as they're going down here, just be careful. Watch out for those spawning little um, robots. And those things coming from above. And once you get past them, they can do a lot of damage, but once you get past them, it's a checkpoint, so it's pretty sweet. Now what you want to do here is you want to get your partner to sort of um, go in and lure out some enemies, and you can take them out with um, a box from above. And the same with the next enemy. And if another enemy spawns by this door, so we're gonna try and take him out because he's taking these too. Except this enemy's quite smart and we'll try and take out the security bot. And he did, so. Are you dead, are you? We're gonna take him out ourselves. He's dead. <laughs> oh, he's gone. Okay. I'm really low on ammo. <laughs> and just watch out for um, the enemies here. They spawn all over the place, you can't really go too long without them spawning. But there is enough, a lot of armor drops in this level, so that's pretty sweet. Um, your turn to take the armor, I think. So, these guys are pretty tough, so... So make sure you save hit the explosives. Yeah, save your grenades, especially for those guys, because they're really annoying to destroy using um, conventional means. Guys, I'm after you blow up that crystal. Yeah. As soon as you destroy any of these crystals, enemies spawn. So you want to be prepared for that. Okay, that's pretty cool. So, what do you want to do next? Do you want to just activate this to move the energy node? Yes. And um, that basically, you need to do another thing to fully um, get the energy nodes activated. But um, we'll finish off. We have an epic battle awaiting us down here, unfortunately. And we could die. Will we? Find out next time on Let's Play Tiny Splitters 2. This is Rexus. That's all. Signing out. Thanks for watching.